So if you're working a Tunisian crochet pattern that has a variety of stitches, you'll want to bind those off in pattern to keep your stitches looking the same because if you don't it's, and you just bind them off all normally as if to Tunisian simple stitch, you're going to end up looking like you made a row of Tunisian simple stitch as your last row. And we don't want that. We want to keep our stitches looking the same. And this is a personal preference, but I'm going to show you how I like to bind off my stitches to keep them in pattern. I have a variety of stitches here. I have simple stitches, rib stitch, twisted stitch, purl stitches, knit stitches, and lattice stitch. So first, I will show you what it looks like by binding them off all normally as if to Tunisian simple stitch. And I will show you how it looks like I ended with a row of Tunisian simple stitches. And then I will undo that and then show you the way I like to bind them off in pattern. And this is um, a video that will be helpful if you follow any of my Tunisian crochet patterns that require you to bind off your stitches in pattern. All right, so I'm going to just insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. So I am going to bind, bind them all off as if to Tunisian simple stitch, no matter what the stitch is. and then show you what that looks like when I am all done. Okay, so it kind of looks like I ended with a row of Tunisian simple stitch. So my, especially knit stitches, now looks like my last knit stitches turned into simple stitches. And same, it ended my pattern of lattice stitch here on the end. Purl stitches and simple stitches are going to look fine. Um, my, this was a rib stitch and since I binded that off as a Tunisian simple stitch, my rib stitch pattern stopped here and it looks like I ended with a row of simple stitches. So I'm gonna undo this bind off and show you the way to bind off in pattern to prevent all of that. So my next two stitches here are Tunisian simple stitches. So you would do those normally by inserting your hook into them, yarning over, pulling up the loop, and then slipping those, um, slipping that stitch under the loop to the right. So now here is my Tunisian twisted stitch. So you are going to work that as a Tunisian twisted stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and slip that under the loop to the right. See, it made that a twisted stitch. I'll quick show you if I didn't do that and I did a simple stitch and bind it off. Now my twisted stitch here is gone. So you want to bind off your twisted stitch like a tw Tunisian twisted stitch. And now I have two more simple stitches. So you bind those off normally. And now purl stitches. I feel there are two ways you can do that. You can bind them off normally like a Tunisian simple stitch and you still have your pearl bump there. Or you can bind them off as a pearl stitch. I personally like binding them off as if to Tunisian simple stitch. All right, and with knit stitches, there are also two ways you can do those. You can do whatever way you prefer. I'll show you real quick if you bind them off normally by doing a Tunisian simple stitch, it's gonna turn that knit stitch into a Tunisian simple stitch and we don't want that if we want to stay in pattern. So there's two ways. You can bind it off as if to Tunisian knit stitch, but sometimes it gives um, kind of a crooked stitch on the edge that wants to roll forward. So if you want to prevent that, Sometimes I will insert my hook under that loop as if to Tunisian simple stitch, 
but then put it through that loop, which is this chain that runs through your row from um, your return pass. Yarn over and pull through both of those. And that keeps my knit stitch pretty much looking like a knit stitch. So you can do it that way, or you can just work it like a knit stitch. Either way looks pretty good. Now I am at my section where I did a Tunisian lattice stitch pattern. So to keep in pattern, I should slip my hook through these next two stitches, just like I'm following um, a row of my pattern for a Tunisian lattice stitch. So I'll quick show you if I bind those off normally, my lattice stitch pattern is gone here on my last row and I don't want that. So I'm going to bind off my Tunisian lattice stitch in pattern. So if I was on my next row, I would do a Tunisian lattice stitch and then end with a Tunisian simple stitch to keep my lattice stitch um, X's offset with each other. So I'm going to insert my hook as if I'm starting my Tunisian lattice stitch, which you would do that and then go through your, um, back through your first stitch for the Tunisian lattice stitch. But to bind off, I need to first slip that stitch to under the loop to the right, and then go back into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and slip that stitch. And then I just work this one as a Tunisian simple stitch and bind it off. And then here is my last stitch on the edge. You always go through the two loops, yarn over, and slip that stitch. And that is how you bind off your stitches in pattern for Tunisian crochet.